Oh, you love to play. Oh, you love to play. Don't your comments won't relay. Sign is on my page for you. Oh, my God, he changed. Young life, I can't see back on my. I just need some brains so I could keep myself in order. Okay, hey, you guys. It is wash day morning. I don't really have a wash day. I wash my hair to the basically when I can't stand the smell anymore, which is usually within a week because I sweat in my head. So, we are, as of right now, I'm using my L Organics. I'm using her products. So, we're going to try the mousse today, as I was telling you guys. So, I'm going to wash my hair, condition it. I use the leave-in condition, and then... We're going to try the mousse and we're going to do section by section and rake in to see if it's going to define my curls and we're going to let it air dry and we're going to go from there so come on honey let's watch this thank you mop because she is stinking and it just started yesterday so come on my bad this is what it looks like wow first shot the bonnet Time for a retwist, mat it down, and all that other stuff. So, let's get her clean. Okay, so let's get this water right. Child, and I gave this lady all the name. It's just my L. But I think it says Organics on Instagram, which is where I get that from. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I'm not renaming this lady business. Let me get y'all right with the angles. Yeah. sections and put the leave-in conditioner in then we're going to apply the mousse so let's do sections right after washing is easier for me because a comb is not getting through this. Not. <laughs> so I'm 
so I read the finger part is easier. I don't think it is good enough. I think I need like six. I just need one more clip. Well, two more. everything off section off so we're going to put on and apply conditioner first then after conditioner we're going to apply the mousse because my conditioner is leaving so again i'm using my elf i'm using her products and this is the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner this one is almost empty so i bought another one as you guys see in a vlog <laughs> Should have seen. Yes, should have seen. Yeah, that's in the boring vlog. <laughs> so I like to saturate my hair with conditioner. Especially since I try my best to not wash it but once a week. So we're gonna try the Timu brush instead of my old faithful. I usually start from the ends and then brush her through. Okay, Timu brush, it works. She is not as sturdy as the one from the beauty supply store, but she works. She works. But I like my pink one. <laughs> my pink one to me has more bristles. So I like her better. But it works. So as I showed you guys earlier in another vlog. Yeah. Alright. So I think I'm gonna go through the whole head and then put a apply conditioner, give conditioner time to kind of like dry and set in, then come back and apply the mousse. I think that'd be good. So we're gonna twist her up so that the conditioner fit. We we'll take this, put this here, and so forth.
Okay, so we got all the conditioner for the hair and each section. So I think I'm gonna let it sit for like 10 to 15 minutes, then I'm gonna come back and I'll apply the most. Let's do that. And I'm hungry, so I'm trying to debate on what I want to eat for breakfast. Because I'm hungry. Okay, you guys, I don't know how long it's been. I don't. I don't know if it's been 10 minutes or 15. I didn't look at the clock. That's my bad. That's my bad. But we're going to go ahead and apply the mousse. The mousse, it doesn't, according to the directions, it doesn't want you to use any combs or anything. It wants you to finger rake, which is cool. So this is the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey Curl Defining Mousse with Hope. So I want to really define my curls because by... I would say like the third day. The third day of my twist out, my hair is like the curls are no longer defined. So I want to see something. I want to try a product to see if it will hold and not only define my curls, but hold them. Because we all have curls. It's just finding the right products to define them and make them come out. Um, Talia Wajid has a great product. Um, at the time, it used to be like $8. I don't know how much it is now. But she has a great product as well. I just, I don't see it in Walmart. So I think you can only get it from the beauty supply store. But this is the shedding that came out. Since I started using the pomegranate and honey products, the Maya products, my shedding has decreased a lot. So I haven't washed my hair since Sunday of last week. This is the shedding. So I'm extremely impressed. Right now, my hair is loving it, so I'm going to continue using it. Yes, it's a tad bit, tad bit expensive. It's more than um, the Cancel products that I used to use, but my hair no longer likes the Cancel products. And I try my best to listen to my hair as well as listen to my skin when I'm trying products as well. So, what we want to do is try this. <laughs> So I'm going to go switch towels because this towel is extremely wet and drenched and but then we're going to try the mousse, okay? Alright, so we got a fresh dry towel. I know y'all like, girl, why? Because I don't know if the mousse is runny, um, especially of how much I'm going to put on because I'm going to be putting more on from when that little sample test that we did in one of my other vlogs. So we're going to try it. Hmm. So I'm gonna make this section a little smaller. <coughs> I got clip it. because they don't want you to comb according to the directions so we're gonna apply your mouth let's do one pump put it on here break it through So this is, can y'all see? Oh no. This is the time I probably should have had out the goddamn ring light. Don't judge me. So this is, let me turn y'all around so you can see. see. This is with the curl defining mousse. This is without. With. Without. With, without, 
y'all can see this is with this is without with this with 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 without I see the difference I see it okay shiny skin all right I'm gonna turn y'all back around because this light is bothering me it's jumbling and jumping y'all around hold on let me get y'all okay <laughs> let's mosey on so we're gonna do this section Oh, I was trying to see like the line instructions. That light blind me. <laughs> it was like a, uh, yeah. Which is why I don't really be playing with the ring lights either. It be blinding, it be blinding. this of course throughout all of the sections so I'm putting on break it through and go from there and then we're gonna speed it up because y'all know I don't like to hold y'all because like you can see the example and then we're gonna speed up the rest now what it looks like is I'm gonna have the Michael Jackson phone <laughs> But it looks like it's going to be defined, so I guess I shouldn't trip. white so I'm hoping it's not gonna leave the residue or that white color once it's completely dry. I hope not anyway. Once that is complete, let's do the other side. Okay, so I have applied all of the mousse in there. I actually, like, it's really white. So I'm not sure if that's from the leave-in conditioner. And the leave-in conditioner is not going well with the mousse. Which would be odd because it's the same company. So, I don't know. Maybe my hair just 
doesn't go well with both, which is odd because it's leave-in conditioner. <laughs> so maybe I was supposed to put the mousse on before I put in the leave-in conditioner. I'm not sure, but I'm not feeling the white residue. But it only comes up when I put the mousse on. My the, when I put the leave-in conditioner in, it dries in well. So I'm still gonna give it a chance because right now it's showing a lot of residue. And residue is not something that I'm a fan of, so I'm gonna give it a chance and I'm going to let it air dry and completely try to get out of it. But this is what we're looking at right now. I don't even know what the back looks like. I'm just looking at the front. And every time that I put the mousse on, the white residue comes out. So as I stated before, I really think it's some conditioner, which is weird to me. Maybe I should let the conditioner dry in one more. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. It says, it doesn't say anything. Well, basically it says after your hair is clean, you put the mousse on. So maybe I should have put the mousse on before I put the leave-in. I'm assuming. Not sure. Hopefully it will dry in after being dry because I put both on at the same time. So hopefully that's the issue. I'm not sure. But it definitely defined my curls. They are extremely defined. That I have no problem with. They are definitely, definitely defined. Um, so I'll come back once she is completely dry. I do have a diffuser, but I don't want to dry it and it's white. I don't know, like the, the white part is sending me, so I rather let it air dry to see if that's going to like dry in and go away or it's going to stay there. If it stays there, I'm going to have to wash my hair again and that's not going to make me happy. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's just let it be, hopefully, like I can't see it on camera, but looking up, I see it. So maybe it's just because it needs time to dry in. So let's do that. So I'll come back later. Okay, you guys, this is the end result. Um. The residue did come out like I kind of just wiped it with my hand because my hair was completely dry and it wiped off no problem so it's okay like I see the difference when you first put it on but for me it's still whatever let me show you the back so yeah this is what it is. As I stated before in another vlog, I wanted this twist out. And I don't know what I used. I don't remember what I used. Okay, you guys, we are done with breakfast. So let's head on to Walmart because we need to pick up a few things because since I'm not going to get my lashes done, I made a decision that would be smart. It's only one time forty dollars, but we trying to save every penny we can right now. So, but I'm still getting my nails done. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> my nails and feet have to be done. I didn't put any gel on my hair this time. That's in another vlog that y'all see. But <clears throat> anyway. Um, literally, we're about to go to Walmart. We're going to get a few things and um, come back and relax. So, we're going to head to find, we're going to get some orange juice, um, yogurt, what else, too? Um, look for some new mascara. I was going to try Fenty, but I think I want the ones that, um, it was this one that I bought where it would grow your lashes. And like I told you guys before, I showed you guys before, those are my lashes. So, and I was using this mascara where it grows your lashes as well. So, I'm going to look for that mascara. So, we're going to wear mascara. We're going to be wearing our lashes for a good little minute. And rocking our hair for a good little minute. Even though I want to get it braided so bad. 
I don't know, I still might get it braided. I just washed this bitch. I might go ahead and blow dry it and be like, can somebody braid me today? Today? But I gotta be financially responsible. So, this is what we're rocking. So, I think that's it. So, let me get dressed and quit yapping with y'all and head to Walmart. Again. For the 511,000 time. So, we're about to end this vlog. <laughs> I believe the most is because you're definitely the dopest in my life. And I'll see you in the next one. 2,000 years later. Okay, you guys. This is what it looks like a couple of days later. Um, it is extremely soft. I will give you that. The texture of it is extremely soft. Um, this is more defined, especially early in the morning. It's been a while, but I mean, yeah, it's okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay, child. It's okay.